Room Tone Podcast is a show produced by us, three movie nerds shooting the shit while talking about shooting the shit. Each episode builds upon the last, so we recommend starting at the beginning. Now, let's make a movie. Let's start this by saying uh, thank you to Morgan for giving us this beautiful gift. Yes. The game that Austin's holding in his hand is called We're Not Really Strangers. This is a gift Bad game. title, but... I kind of like it, though. It's it's nice. It's, it's very nice. wordy. It is it's very different. wordy. It is. It, I was, is. I mean, it doesn't roll off the tongue, you know? It's yeah. not memorable. Like, it, I already don't remember what it's called. That's fair. That's true. I think I like names like that. It's I kind mean, of hipster. It's kind so of hipster. I get it. It is yeah. kind of hipster. What if I told you this? What? On the top of the box, it says, we're not really strangers. And when you open the box on the inside, it says, inside, we're all the same. That's that's fun. That is fun, in my opinion. Morgan actually got us this game uh, to celebrate our 50th episode. She's no kidding. way too good for us. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, have yeah, the best yeah. fans. I know. Um, Fan. <laughs> we have the best fans. <laughs> we have the best fans. <laughs> so thank you to Morgan. Uh, so what, what it is, is, is essentially a game uh, to get to know your fellow players. That's me. Yeah. Player. Oh, yeah. Player. It, it has a variety of questions, and the players are just supposed to answer as honestly as they can. Uh, there's up to three levels. Uh, first level are basic questions, uh, and then the third level goes into more in-depth, really think on it. We've been, sent for a long time, Austin, you've come to us with a question of the day. Mm-hmm. And it's always been a really fun way to like kick off conversations, and now we've got... Three levels of intimacy and a little box between us. God, am I mm. excited to dive in. God, I'm fucking oh. wet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maddie, since you're wet, do you want to do level three? Yeah, baby. All right. Get in there. If it's <laughs> one or two, you don't need to know it about me. <laughs> <laughs> or you already do. Or you already do, yeah. Whatever you draw, let's do it. Yeah. I'm not going to look at it. Okay. I'm going to look at you. I'm going to look at my hand. Wow. Hand. <laughs> Hand. Okay, here we go. So I'm pulling out a level three card for you, Maddie, and it is Why do you think we met? Oh. And then Swain, what level would you like? One, two, or three? I'll switch it up and take a level two card. A level two. You're scared. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just draw a card here. But here, Maddie, you go first and then we can go to me. Why do you think we met? I think we met so that I could meet my my platonic soulmate because I feel like we have the same personality. We just kind of have it on different sides of the aisle. Yeah, different you frequency. Know? Oh yeah. my yeah. god! So I, I feel like that. we really complete each other. Yeah, in that way. You know, I, I'd have to agree. I, yeah. I'd have to agree with that. Um, if there is like a reason why, you know, I don't know. I don't think there is a reason why we met, you know, like other than just like chance. But like, I was really happy with those odds, mm-hmm. you know, like, yeah, no, this has worked we- out very well for us. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, from the outside, like you two are so swell. Like you gel like like platonic soulmates. Like yeah. sometimes yeah. you guys feel like sister and brother, like mm-hmm. bickering, and sometimes like feel like sister and sister. Yeah, yeah. dude. Tia <laughs> and brother Tamara. and brother. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, just like watching you guys make each other laugh yeah. brings me such joy. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, so yeah, no, uh, I like that question. That was fun. Yeah. All right, Swain, are you ready for yours? I'm ready. Is it going to be cute like that? I don't know. I drew it from pile number two. Uh, what title would you give this chapter in your life? Ooh, the Depression Era. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would name this chapter of my life uh, Moving On Up. Moving on up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Two sides of the coin. You're like promising beginnings. And I'm like death from above. (laughs) From above. Yeah. See? Coming down. Positivity. I like that. Moving on up. Thanks. Uh, Yeah. And I feel like that's a fair chapter. You, uh, you, you're married now. You have a house. You're looking at couches. Like, yeah. these are things that you weren't doing. These are exciting things. You know, yeah. a couple of years ago, now you are. I feel like it's a transitionary period of progression. I agree. 
So I that's agree. why I chose that title. Hell yeah. Yeah. Things are getting bigger and better mm-hmm. and it's taking work to do so. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bugger and butter. Bugger and butter and let's get boogers. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Do you want to uh, do you want to answer a question? Sure. sure. Do you like do you want me to answer this question? Yeah. What okay. would you name this chapter in your life? I would name this chapter in my life The Walk with Many Paths. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I feel like recently I've been really thinking of the concept of like this is the moment to make decisions. in my life Mm -hmm. and like it's going to impact like the big moments in my life like you know in my 30s and 40s and 50s just like financially and like my career and like the people i want in my life and Mm -hmm. and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and just like there's many paths that i had to like make decisions on and some of those paths are gonna be harder than others but like yeah i need to start like seeing these things as like options Mm. yeah Cool. I vibe with that. I, I want to talk to you more about that off podcast. Right. Ooh. <laughs> Tune in for room tone after dark. After podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, um, like how many fingers sucks. do you think you can fit in your ears or something? Oh, um, and then prove it. Yeah. It's on the back. Do you want to try another question? I like your questions. What about like if you could uh, like switch genitals for the day? What would you do? I would take vagina. I I no. would be sure. I would, <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. <laughs> I'd be playing with my hoo ha all day. What do you mean? <laughs> all day? That was, was yeah, what you would I, do all day long. Would I, you just if I do have it? A day. Yeah, you have yeah. a whole day, like twenty four yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna. You just flick your bean all day long. <laughs> you wouldn't like try to go and get some. You wouldn't get no. some dick. No. I'd probably go. I I I think I'd have to get some dick. Yeah, I think you'd kind of. I I want to know what that shit's like. Get a dildo. Why That's are you so same. against a, a oh. butthole is not the same as a vagine. I said a dildo. He's oh, saying like true. Oh, I, see. Of, I thought you mean right now. I said because I said I don't know what that's like, and you said get a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, fuck, right now? Yeah, no, no, dick. <laughs> For the uh, no, that's fair. Get, one of those weird, get those weird dragon ones. Uh, here's the thing. I've been a man my whole life, so I know exactly what it's like when a man sleeps with you. It's just gonna be disappointment for the woman. Okay, so like, <laughs> why, would wanna, why would I want to? Why would I want to go and disappoint <laughs> myself? Like I love how you phrase that. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so yeah, but you wouldn't even want to know what it feels like to have a dick in your vagina. Interesting. Do you just I say mean, that because you're I straight? Just, I would just go get a dildo. I, like, I would just That's go right. get a dildo and that'd be like good enough. Do you think? Because I, w- I would want to like come. Yeah, you're yeah. only going to get that with a dildo. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bada bing. <laughs> Actually, you're only going to, yeah, you're only going to get that by yourself. <laughs> okay, right. Maddie, what would you do if you had a dick? Mm, I would learn how to do the helicopter thing. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, I would try to put it in my butt. Obviously. Um, I would see how <laughs> bold, bold of you to assume you're gonna have a big dick. <laughs> Excuse me? Have you met me? I would be so hung. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. I would have sex with a female yeah. and with a male. I want to do that thing where somebody holds both dicks. Oh, try cool. that. Holds both dicks. Yeah, like, like gay guys up. like jerking off both dicks with one hand. Oh, That's like right. a handful of dick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, so it's like a, a little like train system of dick. Yeah, yeah. No, like together. Yeah, together. Like yeah, a so like dick on dick and then there's yeah. a hand around. It's like two it. yeah. rails put together. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. My, when I my first thought was they're the like head train. to head and you have to like nail the <laughs> transition. No, no, dog. You get close. They they, they right it. up against each other. Yeah. <laughs> They're not afraid. They're not shy. <laughs> <laughs> that was I mean, I'd probably also like pee everywhere standing up. That's fair. It's yeah, nice. that was but, a solid list. Yeah. Those are like yeah. the best things to do yeah. with a dick. Yeah. I hope you don't get chlamydia from Why? peeing on from things. Peeing on stuff? No, just from, from oh. the amount of like poo tang you're gonna get. Oh, true. It's gonna be. Nuts. I would get a lot of poo tang. Exactly. It's true. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Go downtown. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> For those listening at home, he was waving his schlong around. Yeah. Not actually, though. That was a fake schlong. Fake yeah. schlong. Yeah. Imagined schlong. Yeah. 
an invisible schlong. A pause for room tone schlong. We are just off our game today. Yeah. <laughs> got the perfect limerick to set you guys up well as always swain i'm limbricked <laughs> as <know>. always <laughs> my name is austin swain i'm an animator and video production specialist in commercial advertising and i've brought in a limerick for a limerick for you guys a limerick a limwick that's a cute name limerick oh that is a cute name next D D character it's mm-hmm. a good bard well i'm limbricked <laughs> <laughs> that's all i got guys that's all in the tank uh this is about our storyboard project let's make stories of pictures and frames taking the images out of our brains the fun never ends because you are my best friends now tell everybody your names that was nice thank you that was nice by me my name is Austin Rapez. I'm an amateur filmmaker. And for my movie recommendation for the week, I am going to recommend Swiss Army Man. And Maddie's eyes just rolled. <laughs> That's your weakness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, loves great movies. <laughs> Did I tell him? <laughs> so let me just give you guys a quick summary and then you can shit on it all you want. Okay. Um, being stranded on a deserted island leaves young Hank. Paul Dano, bored, lonely, and without hope. As a rope hangs around his neck, Hank prepares to end it all until he suddenly spots a man, Daniel Radcliffe, laying by the shore. Unfortunately, he is dead and quite flatulent. Using the ghastly body to his advantage, Hank miraculously makes it back to the mainland. However, he now finds himself lost in the wilderness and dragging the talking corpse named Manny along for the adventure. I love that movie. <laughs> um, so this movie was directed by the Daniels, uh, same directors as uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Which like just made history, by the way. Yeah, dude. Why? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, the two um, lead actors mm-hmm. won SAG Awards. SAG Awards, and they're the first uh, Asian, Asian actors to do so. Nice. Which is, yeah, super cool. Mm-hmm. Very good movie. Very good movie. Yeah, it was. Both, both of them, I think, are very well done. Um, yeah. I uh, If you like a movie about loving yourself uh, that involves flatulence, <laughs> um, various uh, body appendages directing one's way, um, and uh, acapella, mm-hmm. uh, Swiss Army Man <laughs> is the, the movie for you. Highly recommend. It's silly and sweet. Mm-hmm. It's a little treat. <laughs> My name is Maddie, and on Netflix the other day, I disliked Hunt for the Wilder People. That's fair. Because you didn't really like it. <laughs> Just felt very therapeutic <laughs> to hit the dislike button. <laughs> is that the first thing you've ever disliked? Probably. Metal. Hardcore. <laughs> you hate that I can't make you mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're, you're really trying. I, I, I am. I, uh, it's nothing to be mad about. Like you've turned over a new leaf. I'll say. I'm trying. I man. know. I'm trying. Like I, I don't know. Like it's, it's a movie. It's okay. It's a movie I really enjoy, and not always thrilled when like you like shoot it down. Which, is, but like it's not your style, and that's okay. Like I, I I'm just trying that. to start a conversation. I don't think you are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you just say it's shit. What am I supposed to say for that? <laughs> Instead of saying, I think it should because of this. Why yeah. do you think it's good? Yeah, I suppose. We'll get there next time. Yeah. Welcome to the Room Tone Podcast, the show where we make a movie. Last week, we started the storyboards and we got through two scenes and uh, we're going to continue that. We're going to do scenes uh, three and four where Zoe is uh, working her way into the family and we get to see a little bit more about uh, what these people are like. So I guess the first thing we should figure out is what is that hero shot within that scene? Because that's not one of the scenes we brought in, correct? That's true. Yeah. So we've been looking at each scene and just saying, what is like the one frame that defines the look and feel and story of this scene? And that'll be kind of our building blocks to 
as it uses as a jumping off point once we go into like really flush out the uh the storyboard in itself mm-hmm. i think once we get to that point we can just kind of lock down like these are the beats okay then how do we get from this beat to that yeah so we're just looking at the main ones and uh, we're starting with scene three, which is the introductory scene um, where Zoe meets Donnie for the first time. And he gives her a bit of a tour of the house. Mm-hmm. And then um, is the, the final stop on the tour is her being introduced to um, David and Lonnie and learning a bit more about their backstories. So that's kind of a that scene has a lot of a lot of pieces to it. Mm hmm. What what do you guys think is the most like important part? Like what is like the defining part of this scene? Oh wait, is this introductions? Yeah. Oh, so if it's introductions, then I think our defining shot or whatever would be the composition we decide to do for the rolling for the lazy Susan? for the lazy Susan shot. That's fair. Yeah. Do you guys want me to sketch that out? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Hell yeah! If you guys want to make up a question, go ahead. How many fingers can you fit in your ear? Probably four. Why did we never answer this question? I bet I can fit four. Four fingers in like one ear? Well, maybe three. She's got three in. Okay, so like it's just three. the tips. You don't need to like. No, I don't need to get a knuckle into my brain. Okay. <laughs> oh, just the tips. Like, how many can you fit in the little crevice there? What's the what's yeah? What's my what's my threshold? You have to fit them in this part. Like in the whole part. Oh, wow. Yeah, it might just be two. Oh, well, I forgot about the pinky. Oh, maybe I can do four. Uh, How can you forget about the pinky? Uh, wow. Oh, I'd say three. That's amazing. Yeah. I guess I have three in there. For those listening at home, I have three fingers in my ear for the first time. <laughs> Experiencing <laughs> new things on this podcast. It, I don't love it. Yeah. It it's hurts, a weird feeling. Yeah. But now you know when yeah. somebody else asks you that. How much loose change do you think you could hold between your boobs? Can I hold my boobs together? Yes. Loose change, like a sorted coin? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like how much dollar? What's the, domina- what's the uh, uh, nomination? Nomination? Denomination? Denomination? <laughs> Yeah, like so are, am I working with quarters? Am I working with dimes? A, or am I yes, a grab bag? A, a, a sorted grab bag. I think I could fit a lot. I think I could probably do like, like and walk across a room, and hold, and I can hold them together. Yes, yeah, but you can't touch any of the coins with with your arms, right? Oh, I bet I could put like, like three dollars worth of quarters. So 12 quarters. I mean, you can do a lot more than that. Like, I I know. Oh, you're building? I'm building. Oh, shit. Maybe like 12 nickels. Uh, maybe like 20 dimes. And like, I don't know, maybe like 10 pennies. I love the quiet contemplation. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very serious topic. I'm thinking. As I'm like drawing this yeah. dumb fucking drawing. So you can hold five dollars and seventy cents on your in between in, change? in your bosom. Probably. Dude, that's fair. if you don't know from listening to the podcast, since you can't see me, I have huge tits. She's hung. We've already covered so, this today. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I think I would be able to do quite a bit. <laughs> I expected nothing less. We should try it. I, I'm curious. I feel like I'm seeing like a pile that you that you'd be able to do. Are we right. unlocking a new king for you, Swain? No, I'm just the Maybe. biggest fucking pile of coins. Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like you could fit like almost ten dollars worth of coins on you. See, but yeah, it depends on the coins. Yeah, because like I could fit way more dimes than I could quarters. True. But like, and yeah, if you can pile them on top yeah. and I just have to like walk, I could definitely do like up Damn, to Damn, that's probably. awesome. That's way more than I could get on my boobs. Right. So. How many do you think if you made your ball sack into like a little like <laughs> parachute, how many could you fit in that? Um, not more than like a dollar fifty. Yeah, that's fair. Like that, like six quarters Six. That's is a, ambitious. Is a lot of room. 
Yeah, I don't think I think six quarters would be like maxing out. So if it's a sorted yeah. change, I think I could maybe get like yeah, like around a dollar ten. Yeah, that's fair. If your balls weren't there. Oh yeah, way more. Like okay, if you do that thing. I don't know if anyone listening at home has guessed, but I've got huge balls. <laughs> well, if you do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in, please. <laughs> You're editing. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Austin, how many coins do you think you could fit in your butthole? Ten dollars. Hell yeah, my boy. And he says he doesn't want to get butt sex. We raised you right. Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't want it. I'm not saying I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good answer. Because if you push your balls up inside, then you get just a just pocket. Get the skin. Yeah. yeah. So then you could probably fit more. Austin. If the balls weren't in the way. Can you do that? How do you spell symmetrical? S Y M M E T R I C A L. Symmetrical. We should do room tone uh, spelling B. Yeah. Hi, my name's Maddie, and the only thing I'm good at is spelling. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only good if I write it down. But you didn't have to write it down that time. I know. I was surprised. Uh, so how's your Lazy Susan drawing coming? Well, she's coming. Oh, boy. I've always pictured it like super wide angle. We are right down on table level and it spins around to like when you have a camera on like a person and it's wide angle and it's down on the table, that person's going to look like ghastly. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not going to like what I write then. Oh, so that's tough to do. This is so interesting. Like, I feel like we've been on the same page for so many things. This storyboard is the way to find out. No, our titties are tough. Yeah. And this is probably a good time to mention. Um, we, if you are listening on Spotify or on YouTube, you're getting our video supported podcast episode. If you're listening elsewhere, you'll be getting just the audio. But, uh, for those who can direct your attention to your screen and you will have been seeing, um, a screen recording of our iPad, which, uh, is what we're using to, um, put together these storyboards. Sponsored by Apple. I watched the proposal today. Did you really? Uh-huh. It's a good movie. I like, I agree. That's a great, like, popcorn. It's a great rom-com. It's a, yeah, it's it's good for rom-coms. I guess, yeah, this will, this will do this. Will okay. Work. Way to cut us off. <clears throat> yeah, so <laughs> shut the fuck up about rom-coms real quick. <laughs> so I guess how I imagine the Lazy Susan shot is I know, I know uh, what you were saying, Swain, about, like, the camera looking up. Mm-hmm. But I think somehow we can manage a way the camera looking like forward on here rather than up. Sorry, that doesn't really make like a at eye level. Yeah, at eye level. I and maybe I'm wrong on that. I, I guess that's how I pictured it. And I I pictured everything uh, very symmetrical uh, yeah. in the background Agreed. for each character, or at least stylized heavily. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, might as well put them somewhere pretty. Mm-hmm. And the way we transition to each character is doing that whip. Uh, whip pan yeah and this just indicates motion blur that's well, how we'll cover up the various shots yep i like it uh, uh, um and I, I do like the touch of like sorry that's a that's a chip <laughs> see if i can do this backwards sorry that's a chip <laughs> <laughs> so i knew it was a chip that's a chip um uh, i just want to make it's sure a good drawing <laughs> what does that say on the top sorry that's a chip uh where Symmetrical background. Symmetrical oh, background. Nice. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just kind of them flat in the middle, really working on the rule of thirds. Um, and you know what? Even if we, are, and I, th- I was thinking about this, you know, like how do we cut to the flashback? I think it'd be fun if we just continue that whip pan into the flashback. Yeah, that's fair. So it's almost kind of like, yeah, like, you know, that's, it's just a continuous like circle. Mm-hmm. I think I totally really see fun. that. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is how I'm just kind of picturing it. I guess the only thing that like I was disagreeing with you. Uh, before it's mm-hmm. just like the angle of yeah. the shot. Either camera at eye level or camera on the table. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. a secret third thing, camera in between those two things, which is the side that I'm on. What does that mean? Like a little bit higher? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Not eye level, not on the table. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in the middle to yeah. give them kind of like a. Oh, like Possibly. a re- like chest level. Yeah. So, so you want you want them to kind of give like authority a little bit, like having an angle. Yeah, up a I kind of bit. want them to feel like okay. Imagine you're watching like an old 
cartoony movie and mm-hmm. they like introduce like the chess pieces on the board yeah and it's like the king and the queen mm-hmm. and they like kind of do that shot yeah that's how i feel it so it's like from a little bit below and angled up at them mm-hmm. but was, not like not straight on yeah how do you feel about the depth of field then yeah. Uh, I, 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 Sorry, well, that was kind of a separate question. No, 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 you're fine. I think that's a good question. I think, yeah, I think of like a wide depth of field for this one. Um, because, you know, I, I think really just showing like those like background pieces would be really nice. In fact, if we wanted to add that to the stylization of the progression of the film, um, we can like keep lowering our shutter like within each scene. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah. So like it like it starts with like very like wide, very everything's in focus. Mm-hmm. And then just shallow and you're just seeing like bits and pieces. Totally. Of I feel mm-hmm. like we've said that before too. Yeah. It's like fair. the scarier it gets, like the more that we like use a, a a lens that's more zoomed in so that like the background is more blurred out. It like really isolates the person. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, since we're talking a little bit about production, you know, it'd be really fun mm. is if we challenge ourselves within the production and we just say like, all right, during like the first like scenes one through five or whatever, we can only use a 16 and a 35 millimeter lens um, in production for, you know, five and throughout yeah. or six through 10 or whatever we can use. We can only use a 40 millimeter and a hundred millimeter, uh, lens yeah. throughout like the film. So it's Ooh, like, that would be hard. I meant to say 50 millimeter for sure. That, that sounds interesting. It sounds hard, but like, like think about that though. Like, like I feel like that would be like part of the challenge. Um, I think that's a good idea, but I don't want to put us in a box. Like mm-hmm. I like the idea of showing up on production and being able to be surprised and say, Oh, I didn't realize that this shot would work like with this lens, but look at that. Like that's sweet. That was yeah. unexpected. Yeah. And I'm so excited for like those unexpected moments where like everything just lines up. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fair. Um, but yeah, I think having that wide lens in the beginning for like the comedy stylings and then like getting, you know, closer and closer as things get spooky. Ooh. So we didn't decide though. What do you mean? On we the, level of the, camera. level of the camera. Well, I think, I mean, to go with the psychology, if you're at eye level, they're seen as equals. Like you are seeing them as a person. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're at like chest level ish, looking up towards them, they have this kind of like regal, That's tall, power. powerful ca- quality. If you're like all the way down at the table, then they're looming over you and they have this monstrous quality. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like it's gets like a little bit scary, which is mm-hmm. kind of why where I've always gone with it is like that's why it's, it's like super wide, super low. And they're like leaning over, like reaching for chips and dip and like kind of have like a mm. bestial quality. I think you don't think about how ugly people actually are. Oh, I think <laughs> I want them to be ugly. Oh, no, I think about that all the time. But, but you're right. Like, I think in a perfect world with perfect like everything the shot maybe works like that, but I feel like it's just gonna not look how we think it's gonna look. You're probably very right. Like it's gonna be really unflattering and it's gonna have to be Especially for like their first shot. I mean Yeah, th- yeah that's fair. And just very disorienting. Yeah. I think you're right. I think I've always thought of it as like from the perspective of the bowl of chips. I have two. I just expected the bowl of chips to be like on the lazy Susan, not like yeah, in their crotch. Yeah. Yeah. No fair. Yeah. I don't want to be all the way down. I like, Interesting. The, I, I like the idea, but like, yeah, I think it would be hard to execute. I, I, I would say that like, if, if, you know, push comes to shove and when we shoot it, we can do it. Let's mm-hmm. fucking fuck it. Well, yeah, of course, if we can shoot yeah. what we, we should, but sometimes you just can't always get I like, the I get same take from people. Agreed. Yeah. I, I mean, th- so that was my thought coming into this, but I would say between the three of those, I think having like a regal powerful, mm-hmm. that's a, that's mine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So your suggestion, it's, it's like a, it's, it's neutral, but bold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Do we, how do you feel? Do you like that idea? Do you agree? Yeah. Or do you you will still think you're? No, no. I I agree. With, I agree with yours. And then, like, I also think it makes more sense too mm-hmm. to be a little bit lower because we are supposed to be in the perspective of the lazy Susan, right? right. I think the lower so, we are, the more we feel like the lazy yeah. Susan. Yeah. So we have to kind of find that balance. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like Wes Anderson would shoot it straight on. 
Because I feel like well, that's his said, style, think, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm, but I feel mm-hmm. like maybe we want something a little different. Yeah. Maybe. I think we want to get low, get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. Get low, get low. Are you referencing that since I watched the proposal? Wait, is that in the proposal? <gasps> yes, it know. is. I wasn't. To the but window, to the wall. To the wall. To yeah, it Betty down White my balls. Yeah, it. when she dances. Fuck yeah. I love that movie. All right, do we um, want to yeah, move on to the next one? <laughs> yes. yes, let's. So this is scene four where David and Lonnie have now left to go to the chicken coop. And uh, since Donnie doesn't trust that they'll be able to get the eggs, uh, he sends Zoe out as well. And so Zoe shows up. Uh, So Lonnie and David are outside already not getting eggs. They're getting high, Mm -hmm. like a couple of hoodlums. And Zoe walks up and they have a little exchange before Zoe walks into the uh, chicken coop. So I think the like hero shot then would be um, the chicken coop and like where Lonnie and David kind of like hanging out and relaxing, you know, that like initial scene after we he- see like the the joint getting lit or whatever, like yeah. that wide shot. Yeah. I think that would be sick. Like the see. establishing shot mm-hmm. almost. So would it be with just them two? I think so. Cause I'm into that. Yeah. Inside the chicken coop or from the outside? No, no from outside, sorry. Outside yeah, they're the standing coop. outside yeah. the chicken coop. Because she goes inside <laughs> the chicken coop. I always pictured them inside the chicken coop, I guess. Oh. Mm-hmm. But... Interesting. Controversial. Uh-huh. Just because it would be funny and how close, like how small a chicken coop is. Yeah. <laughs> to have Sorry. them both like. So. Yeah, that's like is that happens in Young Sheldon, doesn't it? No, but it should. But would you smoke in a chicken coop? Oh, or, yeah, yeah it does. Coop. Yeah, it does happen in Young Sheldon. I'm yeah, sorry. Police. I was thinking of wow. a joke. Are you riffing Young Sheldon in our short film? No. I, I swear to God, if you mention a boy genius, I'm going to be so no. upset. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'd be great for the characters. <laughs> we just have like a smart guy walking let's around. Let's recast Johnny. With hardcore. Yeah, uh, boy genius. We just, he just needs to act like he has a hardcore autism. Holy like shit. Yeah. Amazing. No, but yeah, like hiding out in this like little tiny house. Yeah, that's fair. But Although it doesn't give us a lot of room to breathe when Zoe comes and then has to like adventure into the chicken coop because that would mean that it's like deep sure. enough for her to walk away from them. Because that's also sure. during, like our turning period too, a little bit. Yeah, when we start getting a little bit darker. So they just have a massive chicken coop. No, they're standing oh, okay. outside of it. Yeah, has, got it. Has got always it. Got been got the got pitch. It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how do you guys see that shot? I mean, it's a wide shot. We see the coop. Well, let's see. Let's see how you see it. What do you see? And then we can discuss that. It's a wide shot. We see the coop. <laughs> uh, we see <laughs> David and Lonnie out in front. Yeah. Um, and oh, you know what? Yeah. I keep trying to like remind myself to be centered and to like, not like a spiritually centered. Oh, I was like, damn. <laughs> He's really whipping it out. The look, yeah. yeah. I'm, I almost whipped it out, but I'm trying to center myself. I'm just trying to be centered. I'm trying to be better. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to riff on your spirituality, dude. Yeah, rude. <laughs> um, To like be centered. And I think it, this could be fun to like frame David and Lonnie as like guardians of the chicken coop. Mm, that's cute. Like little matchsticks. Yeah. I, I almost imagine David being further up like like he's in a medium shot and like behind him is Lonnie and you see the chicken coop behind him. Mm. <laughs> Think of like Fantastic Mr. Fox because okay. there's like things in the mid ground, foreground and background. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. And like so having what? a super wide depth of field and getting everybody yeah. at different lengths. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So you have like David in the foreground, you have Lonnie in the midground, and the background is the chicken coop. That's a cool thought. Mm-hmm. I've never thought of it that way. That's very interesting. And you can like zigzag them. Yeah, totally. Yeah. They're like little like talking heads. They're like profile, right? No, like no, no, talking no, no, no. to each I other. Think, I think of them like in a wide shot. So like, and like I, I would say like they're facing the camera. This I'm imagining the shot when like they see Zoe walking towards the chicken coop, okay. and kind of like what they're like 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 they're just like staring at them. It's almost kind of like a painting, seeing like these th- these two characters, almost three characters because of the chicken coop. Yeah, you know, like again, 
David in the foreground. He's kind of like the more defensive one. Mm -hmm. So we're not seeing his whole body, right? Yeah. And we have Lonnie in the midground. You know, we see her whole body. She's kind of a little bit more, mm -hmm. uh, whatever she's doing. Uh, and then, like, you see kind of like this ominous thing in the background which is like the chicken coop mm -hmm. so 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 yeah like the chicken coop is kind of like that looming thing in the okay, background okay interesting yeah you know oh you know what would be fun to somehow do like the chicken coop gets closer every time we see it in the background that would be a zo oh yeah you know i know you guys don't want to hear it but what if it's a zolly <laughs> We Shut up about the Zolly. We could totally do that as a Zolly, but I, I'm talking about like in like different shots, right? So like mm. say like we have like a uh, when um when Donnie and Zoe are in the kitchen, right? Like mm -hmm. say like there's like a window that shows from the backyard and you see the chicken coop just way back there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then like we cut to like this shot with like Donnie or David and Lonnie and now the chicken coop's a little bit closer. And then, like, the next shot is her entering the chicken coop. Mm, yeah. So it's just like, bop, bop, bop. And yeah. And I think we can do both, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm, th I'm thinking the specifically yeah. of the shot. Yeah. I think we all have different ideas, which is good that we're doing this now. I thought you meant, like, talking head style. Like, I'm like this, and then three feet that way and over oh, there. No. No. Reverse. That would be cool though too. I can see and that. And having it from like waist up. Mm -hmm. Let big me heads. Waist up. Yeah, I, I think. All right, let me show you guys what I have and, and uh let me know what you think. So we have David and Lonnie hanging out mm -hmm. with the chicken coop directly behind them, and it's kind of centered, kind of like dynamic with Lonnie a little further away, mm -hmm. and they're passing a joint. Mm -hmm. And then the chicken coop in the back. Uh, this could actually work, too, because um, we mentioned in the last episode a shot reverse shot, which is when you're filming two entities having a conversation and one camera is looking at in this in this instance, they're looking at Lonnie, who is and then the reverse shot. So that would be our shot. And then our reverse shot would be of David mm -hmm. and who might have like the house in the background. Uh, and that might be useful for when Zoe approaches. We can see her then enter the scene from over David's shoulder. What would you say is the millimeter lens you'd use for this particular shot? For something like this, I would probably use like a 35. 35, really? I was thinking 16. Yeah, I was thinking 16. Too. That's fair. I Whenever mean, I think 35, I always just say go with 16. It's so much crazier. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And... Yeah, Not so, always that was a generalization, yeah. but a lot of the time I feel like I do notice that. I guess I picture it being a pretty big backyard. Mm -hmm. So I would think in my mind we have like room to spread out a little bit and um, and like on a bright sunny day we'd have like the aperture down. Yeah. Uh, if you want more detail on what all that means... Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's go over that. When we're talking about like aperture, we're talking about like the depth of field of the. I mean, like the effect is for the depth of field of the composition, how much light we're letting in. So, like a low aperture, like a two point eight, means a more shallow depth of field. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like a higher aperture, like a five point eight. You know, 10, 22. 22. Yeah. yeah, it's a wider depth of field, and so you're getting a little bit more of the background. Um, and what the aperture is, is like the opening in the lens. And so the more wide open, it lets in more light, but that's, and that's at like an F2 is what the number is. Because it's so wide open, it is a shallow depth of field. So you have less things in focus, but if it's more closed down, like Maddie said, like an F22, a higher number means more closed down. It lets in less light um, and you are allowed a wider depth of field. Which by the way, as a photographer, yeah. And I still don't understand how that works. <laughs> I don't either. I don't, I don't, I don't know the science behind I heard it. It's kind of like squinting and opening up your eyes. Cause like when you're squinting, everything in the background is like a little less in focus. You're more in but focus. That's the on opposite. But everything's out of focus when I'm squinting. That's the opposite. I, I, I've always kind of pictured it as like a laser. Uh -huh. Like you're having a, like a more focused beam of light because it's more closed down. Oh, that makes sense. Where if it's more wide open, you're getting like a lot more light and it's like less specific light. I don't know if that's right. I would just think it would be the opposite then. 
I don't know. Who I don't know. Cares? I don't know. So oh, that's, that's just works. a secret of the universe, yeah. I guess. So yeah, I, I, my gut reaction was something like a 35 because I feel like this, like a really wide lens, like a 16 is going to be more suited for like our smaller indoor rooms when we're like in people's faces. Mm -hmm. But if we're in kind of a medium shot, you know, with like this big structure in the background, I think we could get away with. Um, something a little bit higher and more yeah. natural, like a 35, and let the composition and the and the dialogue speak for the scene. Or we can get a fisheye eight millimeter and make it look like one of those classic Fuck 2000. Yeah. Right in there. I think we should for some shots. That would be sweet. Would you guys change anything about this shot? I think the only thing I would change is like um have Lonnie more like she is like her full body like she's like out like it's not mid it's like she's out she's out <laughs> she's out, <laughs> she's out. <laughs> <Rephrase. this shot. laughs> she not out she's um it's a full body shot rather than like a mid uh, medium shot um so I tried to uh, do that with these two little lines here oh she well, see has these and David doesn't yeah he didn't do a good job I know. <laughs> um, I I'm cool with that. I think it should feel sort of like that shot in Midsummer where she's like walking across the field mm. in the flowers with like the little house in the background. Yeah, I, I think it should be like that shot if we if that shot was at, at like ground level. Yeah, and I would like to shrink her. Try doing with your fingers, with your fingies. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she's just a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> there she is <laughs> god damn it uh, it's amazing how you can make anything sound sexual when you just turn the voice down just add a little, little sultry to little, it little, little molasses just add a little sultry voice to that Maddie baby. you are the shine to the shoes of the sun wow. you shine like a diamond that has sparkles inside wow maddie you are like the foxtail butt plug every anime <laughs> every anime man's dream of <laughs> Amazing. i just kind of tuned in for the end of that thank but, you uh, man that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me <laughs> now buck her away mm -hmm. <laughs> Maddie, I think it'd be really, really funny, but also very cool if you made an Etsy for custom butt plugs. Really? Do you think that would be really cool of me? <laughs> I, I, think, I think that would be cool. <laughs> so it'd be like, okay, like well, you're being creative. Yeah. In and in a way that gives people sexual pleasure. So it's like, I mean, I don't know what, like. Like, what do you have to lose, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, like, <laughs> like, oh, how am I, I going to bedazzle this? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Or, like, those bitches who make, like, resin yeah, dildos yeah. on TikTok. That would be pretty sweet. I think that'd be sick. Yeah, that would be cool. You make, like, a little, little like, table, resin table, but, like, underneath, there's just, like, a butt plug. That oh. someone can, like, hang from. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Graphic. <laughs> And complicated. <laughs> complicated, but erotic. <laughs> really have to squeeze. <laughs> Gotta clench, motherfucker. I'm not saying it'd be pretty, but I'm saying it would happen. But I'm saying it might just be what you need. I shrunk the B down a little bit. I love it. The B? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I shrunk the B. You guys are funny today. <laughs> Thanks, man. I know. Oh, what do you guys think? Did we do it? Yeah, I think so. We got a couple of storyboards. A couple more scenes laid out. Hell yeah. The story. We spanked so that mustard and we put it on the sandwich. Cut both <laughs> of those out. Yeah, whatever you guys both just said, it was bad. Cut it out. You did terrible. I think I think we did good. I think uh, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. Are we all on the same page about that shot? Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, cool. Are you not? Did you want to talk about it more? Let's talk about it more. No, oh. I don't. I just want to confirm. Oh, I think so. Everyone. Okay, cool. I showed it and I got either smiles or silence. <laughs> right. Or do you want to change it? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure everybody's on the same page. Because I feel like... Mm, I don't know. No, it's fine. Okay, well, hold on. I feel like you <laughs> clearly have something you want to say. No, no. I just want to... I like... I feel like we're all on the same page. That drawing is just like a little ambiguous and I don't know how to like draw it more clearly to make it Maddie, like it just seems like the call to draw is in your heart right now. I know, but I don't know what to draw. Like, I don't know what to draw. 
like more than that to describe it. Maybe I just need a yes or no on like the camera movement. I don't think there should be any camera movement. I think it's like a so painting. not a Zolly. No. Oh. Oh, 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 for that particular for that particular shot, I would say no, no Zolly. Oh. I don't think we need a Zolly. If, I think if we <laughs> did a Zolly, it would be really slow, and it would have and it would have to like. Oh, you know what? But yeah. argument, it hold brings on. the chicken coop closer to them. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I I agree with that. When Swain said really slow, yeah. I can imagine. Sorry, when I think of Zolly, I think of like Jaws, where it's just like no. you know whatever. Or I think of like Goodfellas when, it, or actually Goodfellas is a little bit more subtle. But like, um, I, I I agree with that it, it it would be really cool if it was like just like a very slow push in and like you you oh my gosh I I see these characters kind of like <laughs> turn, turning like around and kind of like looking at their own separate time yeah right? so it, it kind of like it's like an effect like um, um as it's like Zolian and David turns around sees like Zoe and then Lonnie stops and sees Zoe and then like as it stops it's almost kind of like the chicken coop stops and sees zoe oh shit oh, you know? yeah true. whoa yeah damn okay now we're now it's a zolly yeah like i think that'd be really fun to like implement you guys both literally went no <laughs> and now we birthed that Look well that. he just had to say slowly and then i was like mm, oh slowly. yes please yes, like, ah, you know, see, that, i'm glad you i'm glad we brought that back up because you're right that would be a kick-ass shot i think bringing the chicken coop closer to them without mm-hmm. anything else moving is mm-hmm. a super creepy cool shot and yeah. i think it makes it so ominous yeah i agree with that and, and i think their dialogue here is like is some of my f- favorite mm-hmm. funny dialogue and like good sound design could really mm-hmm. sell like that kind of weird feeling. Like I think that'll be a really interesting scene. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Honestly, I'm really happy that you brought that up. Um, I Thank think we you. accomplished what we wanted to accomplish today. Good job, guys. Yeah. I think we can cut her off. A couple more scenes on the board. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages, our Facebook and our Instagram. Uh, and check out our merch store. And Every uh, sticker sold is another shot shot. Mm-hmm. Everything sold in the merch store goes straight to the film. Help us create this beautiful film. Um, until next time. Pause for room tone. Pause for room tone.